All right, this is one of my first, my, my, my favorite parts of the show. So this is WTF or F. <laughs> weather time fudge or weather time fun. So you right. get to choose. Do you want to talk about an extreme personal weather experience or, and the impact on you, or a story about one of the most fun things you ever did in the type of year that it was in? So take your choice. Well, I'm going to do both. I'm going to do, because I'm an interdisciplinary for, uh, professor, I'm going to do both. Okay. So... Um, I live in Arlington, Virginia, which is five minutes from downtown DC, and it has lots of trees because we like tree canopy. And, but the problem is when you have lots of trees, it knocks down wires during storms. So we have lots of outages. And so I was the first in my community in Northern Virginia, obviously to have solar and batteries. Nobody had that. Remember, and I was doing it before net metering, 1985. I couldn't connect to the grid give power to the grid, even if I wanted to back then, it was unheard of. So I have this, and actually, I'm going to step back one section. I'm running the Solar Industry Association at that time. And when I bought my house in, 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 in 84, I didn't realize all these trees would happen. And they built all our houses on stream beds, and I'd have my basement flooded. So I'm sitting in there saying, maybe I can use solar panels to charge some batteries to keep my sump pumps going to keep my basement dry. And they didn't sell some pumps with batteries like they do now, even though those, they even only last 45 minutes. So I call Cindy and National Labs and said, hey, can you guys help design and I'll get the industry, give me some panels and I'll do this. And they did and it worked. And you know, that felt good. I'm thinking, well, you know, now, you know, outage number three, I just don't want a dry basement. I like a little electronic ignition on my gas stove and I like a little refrigeration and couple of lights. How about that? So I did that. Well, that's like having opium, right? So now, then I went crazy to the whole damn house. So when we have outages in my neighborhood and it's dark, gets dark, people start knocking on my door, my neighbors, <laughs> and they come in and drink my single malt scotch and my bourbon. <laughs> and they just come in my house. And of course I have air conditioning and lighting and whatever. And I always have a few neighbors that actually dislike solar and I make them stand up every single time in front of all the other neighbors because they're in my house drinking my alcohol and saying, tell us why you hate solar. And they all go, oh, well, it's ugly, but it's pretty cool now. So, so that's what I do. I go through that. So the trauma of losing power, but at the same time and having your neighbors mooch your alcohol, but uh, having uh, resilient energy is really wonderful. That's great.